sister over here that ends with me just for the hell of it. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, hey, we back? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Come on. <laughs> now that she's gone, oh, what you're saying? <laughs> Can you hear loud and clear now? That's pretty weird. I thought maybe it was Ableton. So I turned off Ableton and turned it on again, but you guys still weren't getting the audio. So I had to turn off OBS and turn it on again, which is very weird. I don't know why it's being like this. I can only think it's because the, uh, the game takes more effort than like the regular music streams. I don't know. Don't know what's, don't know what's going on, but I'm glad that we're back. And I need to go to the place where Captain was able to sing for a ice cream, because that's amazing. There's a game of- Oh, Zemsi, don't ask the big questions. Do you hear this? It's coming through my audio, okay. <laughs> Let me honk for you. Uh... Yay! Okay, we're back! We're back, Goosen! Fabulous. That was weird. I haven't had like both turn off like that, where I thought maybe it was Ableton and then it wasn't. Oh. Don't look over here. Oh, I forgot to wear the ribbon! Oh, fine, you can take it. I don't care. I don't even want it anyways. Uh, oh, oops. There we go. Hmm. What kind of horrible shenanigans should I get up to? I, I dressed up the bus with things from outside the back gardens, but I, I haven't gotten the award for that yet. What else can I use to decorate that bus? Hey! No, I don't like this goose. This goose sucks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Strong cup of coffee, welcome on in! Happy sudden. I was gonna say Wednesday, but it doesn't work with Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Uh, oh, score a goal. I think I know what this is. Da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, this is where the net was. <gasps> Do I have to take the soccer ball all the way over here? That's gonna be hard. I think we should try it. Oh, <gasps> Zebsy knows how to get thrown over the fence. Zebsy, you get the box. Oh my god, that's brilliant! I had thought briefly that I should try and see if I could hide in that milk canister that she has next to the statues. Because I was thinking about the box, but I didn't think about actually bringing the box over. Ah, oh, Zepsy, thank you kindly. Brilliant. Brilliant! Chat is brilliant! Mods are brilliant. Fabulous. Oh. This is mine now. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Get the ball over so it popped in my mind that you get items from different stages. Yeah, yeah, now we're at level two. We were interlocking the, uh, the stages. Don't mind me. Just doing regular goose things. This also reminds me of, um... The Wallace and Gromit, the wrong trousers with the penguin. Wasn't there something with a box? Or he's in a box or something? <laughs> I can't even get your flashbacks. Oh, oh, did you get it? Shh, I'm hiding. Ah, ah, hey! How's it going, sir? I want to honk, but I don't want him to know I'm in the box. <laughs> I was a little concerned. Maybe I'll wait till he grabs his paper. <sighs> oh, sorry. Oh, I need a little more coffee today. Alright. Can we get this? Can we get this? <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's that? No, 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 that was not me honking. You did not hear the box honk. It's fine, it's fine. Yes, 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 yes. I believe I can fly. Oh, <laughs> I can like jump out of the box. <laughs> Hello, ooh, scared you guys. <laughs> yes, yes. I gotta get a soccer ball. Do this. What's in the box? Let's do it. I didn't think that box was actually gonna fit through the gate, so now I know. I learned something. Hmm. I can only go so fast. My little water feet. <laughs> so cute. They got a very cute uh, waddle animation for this goose. Hello, Timmy. How's life? I think I need to torment you again later. I'm not sure though. So just, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Oh, yeah. No, it's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> get out of here. This is my soccer ball. Da -da -da. Ooh. Ah. Go, get! Tell your friends I'm a force to be reckoned with. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, makes me nervous when I <laughs> can't see it behind the rooftops. Go, go, go. I'm making the long shot, Timmy. You don't know. You don't know the dedication. <laughs> that it takes to be a, a stamina performance athlete like I am right now. <laughs> okay, I gotta angle this better. <laughs> I gotta go this way. There we go. Oh. Uh. Get, get out of here. Go. This kid trying to get back things that belong to him. How dare he. Yes. Get up on the curb. I need to I need to go fast. Gotta go fast. You <laughs> get away from your belongings. <laughs> okay. 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 Ah. Don't, don't get it off the curb! I worked really hard to get it up there. <laughs> you don't see my vision, Timmy. This is why we can't get along. You don't understand my vision. Okay, 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 okay. Much better. Much better! Oh, gosh. Every time I try to go fast, I kind of like get it in the wrong direction. Eee! Okay, that was the easy part. <laughs> now we gotta get it to the actual, like, thing. All right. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I need to take a right. I gotta take a right. Go. Yes. Soccer goose, soccer goose, does whatever a soccer goose can. Will he go for a swim? No, his his sport career will just begin. Watch out, here comes the soccer goose. Okay, good. There we go. Yes! We can actually get the old man's help on this. Hello, sir. Look, look what I have for you. A very throwable object, if I do say so myself. <laughs> ah. A walk in here! Jeez. Very nice. 
this. Oh, whoops, is that you? <gasps> yes. See, if I was a real professional goose player, I would have caught that on the other side of the fence and then scored a goal, because that would have been so epic. Oh, 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 oh. Why is there gravity in this game? And physics. Oh, no, 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 yes. Oh. Come on. Yes. It's silly feeling with more random objects. And she doesn't even care. <laughs> she just keeps putting them on her bust. It's so silly. Maybe maybe we can use her as a, as a scapegoat, as a scape goose. Oh man, I just got it over there. Yes. Yeah! Here we go! Goose! Goose number seven coming down the lane! Me. Me. <laughs> oh, don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. Why are you stuck? You could just not be. Have you thought about that? It's a pretty good, pretty good argument. Me. Come on. Yes! Yes! This is taking all of my concentration now. <laughs> no. This is just as difficult as scoring a goal in real life. No! Why are these gardens on a slope? Ref, that was offside. <laughs> it's okay, I'm a goose. Ref, refs are afraid of me. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Yeah. Mm. Get, get in the. <laughs> Why can't I get this? This is atrocious. Get. Me. Maybe if I open my wings. There we go. Very aggressive. <laughs> this is kind of reminding me of um, when my mom's dog Isla was a puppy. She would herd soccer balls. She's a, she's a sheep dog, so she's, she's got it in her blood, <laughs> and she just loved the soccer ball. She would hurt it all the time, and we couldn't let her play with it too often, though, because she was very loud. She's a very loud dog, so she would bark all, all day going after the soccer ball, and then she would bite at it, and then it would roll farther, and then she'd bite at it again, so she'd like hurt it around the yard. It was very clever, very clever of her. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? I got it all the way here. I thought this would be the easy part. You're running ahead of the ball. I know! And then sometimes I clip over the ball. Uh, excuse me, ref, I clipped over the ball. <laughs> okay, 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 we got it, got it, got it. No, I'm too fast! I'm too fast! Oh man, what kind of games do you play on stream? Oh no, like really, really, really interesting stuff. Just me being a goo- Being a goose! Why can't I get it past this? Oh, what did you do today? Oh, not that much. Okay, okay, okay. I am learning. I am learning from my mistakes. I am being a better goose. I am being a well-rounded goose. <laughs> I'm failing as a goose. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Come on, uh, do it, do it for your family. Yeah, no, yes. <laughs> this is the word, no, no. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable, goose stone. I learned to play football when being a goose. Every day I was a goose, and every day I learned to play football. Yes. Come on, you can get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. I failed at football. Yeah. I <laughs> well, I failed at football while being a human, too. So I think generally it's football's fault. <laughs> wow, it's really in there. Hold on. Let me, let me get this. 
fabulous. Oh, oh, well, let me let me let me get close enough. Oh, I like the tennis racket. I failed at this sport too. See, it's definitely football's fault. Oh, wait, if I like, hold on. I look like this. Run at it. Run it. Oh man, I was doing so well. I really thought I'd get in. I wrote the M again. I did. I did. <laughs> How much I get him back? If I could jump, this would not be a problem. Why can't geese jump? Yes! Okay, I, that's what I have to do. I have to like do this and then run around a lot. I don't have a lot of criticisms for the developer, but this is one of them. Yes. Yes. This could happen. Yes! Okay. 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 Do it again. We're gonna be better. We're gonna be better geese. Yes. <laughs> that took so long. Oh my gosh. Is my audio freaking out again? It totally is. Can I move the goal? That's a good idea, actually. No, I can't though. Oh, that was so much work. That was so much work. Ah. I need to rehydrate after that one. Gonna find some Gatorade. Uh, make. Okay, we have the shop skills. Which now that we're doing more of these levels, I definitely think. Um, we need objects from other places. That seems to be the theme. So we should get something that isn't a shop. Put it on the put it on the scale. Um, big score. Big score. <laughs> Outside of High Street by back of the own stuff. I put so many things on that. Um, maybe I need to maybe I need to try the farmer because he's a little closer by. Uh, collecting flowers. This one's really hard. Sail the toy boat under a bridge. That one's definitely doable. Okay, let me go to the let me go to the farmer's place and see if I can. What what are you doing, <laughs> ma'am? Get a hobby! What are you doing? Yes. Oh, the music stopped right at that nice, very nice forte chord. Duke McDonald, hello! I didn't know you did game streams. I've been doing a couple just, just over the Sundays. <laughs> it's not a regular thing, but I was just having so much fun being a goose. I needed another Sunday of it. So, <laughs> welcome on in. She's spying on her neighbor. Yeah, yeah! Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Don't be that person. I'm over. I know because I am that person. I don't want to be that person. You guys see me always look out the window at my neighbors across the building. <laughs> Just very curious to see what their life is like. Da, 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 da. Can't wait till I can fly in this game. When I fly in this game, it is over for these people. Okay. What can I steal? <laughs> what can I take that is heavy? Maybe the thermos? Probably the thermos. I can't get the pumpkin off the ground. What are you looking at? I'm just being regular. Being a regular folk. Oh, I could take his hat, I guess. But then the then the bus would have two hats. That doesn't make any sense. Boop. Thank you. This is mine now. This is my thermos. Da, 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 da. Okay. Don't mind me. Regular being a regular goose. You are right where I need to go, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, could you move to the left, maybe? I'd appreciate that. Okay. And... Oh, come on! Oh, maybe the- okay, maybe he'll get his thermos though. Ah, maybe he'll get his thermos and then I will- then I will have succeeded in one thing. Hmm. 
You don't wanna you don't wanna sell that thermos? Perfectly good thermos. Here, let me help you. You're welcome. <laughs> I think that was right, actually. I think the farmer will, or the gardener will come over. In the meantime, I'm gonna steal a toy boat. Also, has anyone seen any more flowers? I feel like I'm missing them, but they should just be around. I don't know. <gasps> was that a brick? I do love bricks. Oh, it's too high up. No. That would definitely make the scale go ding. Okay, nice brick. Sometimes all you need in life is a nice brick. I should write a song about that. That'd be good, actually. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to go this way. I want to go the other way. Yeah. Heck. Hey, Jack. Yeah, I should I should write some uh, should I write some joke songs on stream? That'd be really fun, actually. <laughs> because we have this we have this nice ribbon, and no one no one has put it on me. <laughs> Blue is more my color than red. It bothers me. Ah, uh, about oh, you don't have the box anymore. Ribbon rip off. Guess I'm getting through by Give me your shoes. 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 Give me your shoelaces. <laughs> Give me your shoelaces. Gah. <laughs> you and your shoelaces are impossible, sir. Yes. Sucks to be you. On Avenue Q sucks to be me. On Avenue Q sucks to be you. On Avenue Q sucks to be a goose. Oh man. Come on, let me through. Let me. Could you... you think you can defeat me? You can't. You can't. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on, it's only when he does the second one I can sneak in. Yeah, no, yes! This way. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, he fell over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. Only a little bit, but not entirely. Boat, boat, boat! Give me the boat! Give me the boat! Give it! <laughs> no! No, lady, I'm just trying to get my boat! <laughs> no, <laughs> I should have turned that off. I need that on. <laughs> boat! Boat. What I should do with the boat? I have it. Sonsie, welcome back! See a man eat pavement. <laughs> uh, sail the toy boat under a bridge. Okay. Oh, we're playing poo sticks with a, with a boat. Did you guys ever play poo sticks as a kid? I learned it from Winnie the Pooh. When you get the sticks and you, you go on the bridge and you drop the sticks. <laughs> and then whichever stick came out first under the bridge, that's how you won. It was the best game when you were a little child. No, P O O H. <laughs> I promise. It's a very clean, very clean game. I wonder if I can put it in here. Hmm. Go. Go, go, go under the bridge. There's a couple of bridges, so I have I have options. Yeah. Oh, this game is so cute. Very nice. Oh, there's another bell! There's a bell over there. I grew up in a very dry place. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear it. Didn't have a lot of bridges where I had grown up, but those 
Those that I had were very nice. How many rivers near you? Oh, that sucks. I, I grew up in lake country. <laughs> so you can imagine how many lakes we had around. Not until the mountain snow melt. That's nice. Mountain snow melt's lovely. Sorry, I really need this bell. I'm sorry, I don't know what it's doing here, but I need it. So I just don't mean to be that person, but I just really need this bell. <laughs> We used to get uh, we used to get mountain mountain melt rivers in the springtime, my hometown as well. Very nice. Then your sticks will get drowned. You gotta get floating sticks. You dry wood. You can tell we're doing a boss level because <laughs> don't know why there's a bell here when it should be with me. Yeah, there's another one. I don't know why, but there is. We have it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we have distressful WC music to accompany it. <gasps> Rude. Gotta go the long way around. I took the long way home. Ba -da -da. I took the long way home. Loud as heck. This bell is loud as heck. Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. It's fine. It's fine. Is that, what, is that what Captain Platonic sounds like? The, the arpeggios going like... Just riffin', just riffin'! Uh, <laughs> I need you guys to space out a little bit. like this guy. <laughs> this guy is in my way. I'm spacing out. I'm spacing out with boss music. I'm gonna have like a Pavlovian response to this music now. <laughs> it's like the grunt music. Oh, see they just Yeah, the grunt music from Amnesia uh, haunted my life as a child. Okay, we got it a long way. We got it a real long way. Oh man, they have all the barricades up again. Just from the sound, I know. <laughs> Who said this was a peaceful playthrough? Not anymore. Oh, my box is still there. That's nice. Do <laughs> you want it? Can't have it. It's too far away. I need to do this. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. The, yeah, the bell doesn't help. I know. <laughs> I know. I could walk quietly, but I gotta go fast. Okay. okay. Uh oh. Oops. I didn't. I, I didn't mean to bring it. <laughs> It's also like in Onisha, the Dark Descent, where you pick up like, I don't know, some important thing, like a key or a potion, and as soon as you pick it up, you know that the grunt is gonna like spawn in and, and come after you, and you're like, okay, here I go, it's fine. Here I go, picking up the bell. Okay, where are you? You're round, but you're not close to me. And that's okay, we can work with that. I'm just gonna sneak over here. Uh oh, whoop, whoop. Ah, no, all right, I forgot he closed that one off. Oh no. You are an issue. <laughs> you, sir, are an issue to me, personally. Me, ah! You better not throw that over there. You better not, better not throw that over there. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Ta-da. Get better at it every time. I can speed run this. <laughs> Tom, the crew, what's your location? Uh, I haven't played enough um, uh, 
Animal Crossing, but I do know that reference. That <laughs> you take that quote to the bank. That's a lamp original right there. <laughs> Everybody's limited to their area. Yeah. Otherwise, could you imagine? Oh man, I'd be in trouble. I'd be in goose trouble. I'd be in goose jail. I'd be in jail. <laughs> What's that, um... <laughs> I think it was a tweet or something. Get out of here, Jamie. Get out of here, Ah! Ah, you are going outside your, outside your area, ma'am. <laughs> here we go. Uh, the guy was like, Oh, it says, you said that you went to Yale. And it's like, yeah, I did. He's like, cool. All right, you're hired. He's like, thanks. I really need this job. <laughs> I was gonna kick out that. I think we yell now. Hi. They're trapped souls tormented by this for eternity. Yeah. Then this is, this is purgatory. I hope that in the final quest they will just all chase you on the entire map, trick you, no, trap you, and kick you out of the village. No. What are you not on the goose's side? I'm on goose's side. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, how did I do this? I think I just made his life difficult and then he went over there. Have you all seen The Quiet Place? I haven't actually. It's one of the very few few horror movies I have not gotten around to seeing. Uh, but I know the concept and I think it's a cool a cool concept for a horror movie. Dun, dun. Look, look, I've made a mess of your workspace. Look. Look. <laughs> look with your eyes, look. Don't make me steal a carrot. I'll steal a carrot. <laughs> that really got him. We got him bent out of shape. There we go. Ooh, that piano's going. Fabulous. I'm just so good at stealing bells in particular, I don't want to tell you. Imagine this goose in there. <laughs> Everyone would perish. Everyone would perish. The good place. This doesn't look like a bad place for those people. I haven't seen The Good Place. There's a lot of shows I gotta catch up on. Which I, I guess I actually can now, because I did finally buy Netflix. Not long term though, I'm gonna delete it once I've done everything that I wanna watch, but you know, I do what you can with the location locks. You can no longer borrow my mom's Netflix account. The goose place. <laughs> the goose keys. Double belt all the way. Yes! Oh, I thought it like an extra for that. Man. What? No, don't end it! What? No, I'm not done yet! <laughs> I didn't realize it would end the game. No! <laughs> I still have endgame to do. I don't mind. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they do me like that. What? I just did it. I just did it for fun. I thought I thought for sure I'm getting trolled. A goose as the goose. Oh man. What the heck? This game is a masterpiece. <laughs> This game takes me for a ride every single time I play it. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of getting hungry though, I don't know. What time did I start? Four? It's only been two hours. Uh, I feel well, I normally do two-hour stream, I guess, but... Uh, I kind of wanted to finish it, but at the same time... I don't know, there's only tricky ones left. Yeah, Giant Pixel understands me. Maybe I'll make some food. I also need to like do a lunch prep for tomorrow because I'm going to a co-working space to be a productive civilian. And also like do some, uh, try to make a highlight video actually. <laughs> try to do some Twitch highlight stuff. Yeah. I see Goat Simulator on your horizon. I feel like I'd be really bad at Goat Simulator. Those kind of graphics where they're like very puppety, I'm not very good with them. It would be hilarious though. We're gonna be doing uh, Leaf the Company, I think. Probably next Sunday. I can. I'm gonna get that all figured out. Um, yeah. 
Also, uh, um, I'm looking for I'm looking for monitor and maybe maybe a Windows PC or like a PC. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I want to say with the monitor, if you guys have any suggestions, could you throw it in the uh, gear chat in the Discord or or not? <laughs> Just because I'm, I'm still looking around and browsing um, different monitors, so. Goat Simulator is even less polished than this game, I feel. Yeah, Go Goat Simulator is like peak uh, weird puppet graphics, I feel like. Gear chat for us as a public. Oh, yeah, it might not be for everyone. Um, oh, where can you guys throw it then? Just wherever. Just throw it wherever. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's not- the gear chat isn't just for mods, but it's for like a couple of other people that have asked to be in it, um, I think. I don't remember who's in it, but yeah. Wake to private channel. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that secret, is it? <laughs> uh, we just talk about we talk about tech and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a tech channel. This okay. So just throw it in the tech channel then, and forget that the gear channel exists. That's more like focused to the to the stream, like upgrades and stuff. For the channel, so that's probably why. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Was that forbidden knowledge? Am I not allowed to say that? <laughs> also, hi, Gigi. Gio. Welcome, welcome. Uh, extra smaller one. Oh no, wait. Monitor view things. Uh, monitor for viewing things and like like a. I guess a big one, but not too big. I, I would say like maybe not bigger than 27 inches. I feel like that's a lot. I think I was looking at the 24 inch ones. Um, yeah. So just, just a few things. <laughs> Good set, yay. <laughs> Please don't leak my address. <laughs> I'll never tell unless someone pays me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, your chat doesn't it yeah flashes the yeah men in black men in black men in black now i want to see who's in that in that channel <laughs> i thought it was public but no you guys are right it's not i'm a fool uh 2560 by 1440 resolution is awesome i think <laughs> gaming oh good i can leak his address it's just an applebee's it's fine <laughs> Just go to your nearest Applebee's and, and Gaming Geos will be there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like the 27 is quite big. Actually, hold on. I'm a prof I told you I'm a professional. <laughs> 27? 20? No. That can't be right. <laughs> That's very small. What, was I, what size was I looking at then? I don't understand. And Gears is, Gear is mods and horror story? I thought we had philosophy. No, it was tech and philosophy. We had a lot of philosophy talk in the tech channel to the point where we, I was thinking of calling it tech and philosophy. A cheer cat, <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, tech and philosophy is public, thank you. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Don't know why I forgot those things exist. I live in, he lives in a duck farm, duck farm. A centimeters. Oh yes. Okay. Is sixty nine cent nice? <laughs> Thank you, GDG, for being my official translator. Okay. Yeah, that's that's huge. I don't need a. Well, no one needs. People definitely need a monitor that big. This is a big monitor for me. I wouldn't need this because I probably use like my monitor and then the laptop or monitor and then the iPad because I can kind of use that as a second screen. So I don't need like a huge amount of room. Also, that's diagonal. What? Why would you? Why would you measure it diagonally? <laughs> why would you do this? That doesn't help me like figure out the sizing at all relative to my desk. <laughs> what length is a twenty-seven inch monitor? Twenty-seven inch monitor. If the centimeters are correct by GDG, is this large? That's almost the size of a lamp. Just ducks. Ducks are very cute though. Actually, I would definitely prefer a duck farm to a goose farm any day of the week. 
uh, a slightly smaller monitor at the same resolution is nice and sharp. Yeah, getting something smaller with a with a, a cleaner resolution would be nice because, um, for example, Logic Pro, very very small buttons, very small buttons. TVs have always been measured that way. I never knew this. I never knew this. My twenty seven inch is sixty one by thirty. So hold on, <laughs> you guys are making me measure with it. Six, okay, sixty one by thirty. Six. That's that's pretty nice. That's a pretty good size, actually. That's pretty decent. Valstein, thank you so much for your raid. <laughs> Welcome in, raiders. I'm sorry we j we were playing Goose Game for a while, and then I accidentally ended the game early, and we got the credit scene and everything, and now we're talking about monitors. So we're just kind of chatting. But welcome on in. <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful stream. Uh. They're usually shorter lengthwise than said size. Okay. I didn't know these were they were done diagonally. Now that I, I'm getting it in my head, I, it does make a little more sense. It's kind of like... But that's... 27 is still really big. 24 would be like, maybe like this. That's, that's okay. Enjoy the tech talk. Goodbye, GDG. Have a wonderful step out. Nice resolution for me without having to zoom in. Okay. You guys got some good. So go, okay, everyone's going for the 27-inch monitor. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't know why I'm coughing. Okay, maybe I need to consider it. I'm trying to imagine it, like, behind my table. By my table. It's a lot of, a lot of, it's big. But it should be, it should be alright. So if you want to calculate the width and height, just take the diagonal and do Pythagorean. How about no? <laughs> How about that's way too much math for me? I can do trig. That's the only kind of math that I feel capable of doing. My 25 inch monitor is 57 centimeters by 33 centimeters. Ooh, giant. 25 inch. Okay, so 57. That's a little better. That by, by third. I don't know if you guys would like see it very much. By 33. That's, that's a little better, I think. A little smaller. Um, I do not like do Py Pythagorean, but I do like his theorem. That's that's fair. I do not like the, the man himself. I have a tape measure at hand. Yay! <laughs> Join me in always having a tape measure available. I normally use it for Wilhelm when I'm like buying used stuff. I'm like, hold on, what is it? Like I got a keyboard today, so I was trying to figure out how big the keyboard was gonna be, and. Um, you guys can't see my setup right now, but I have the mini lab next to me, and then I have the focus right behind that. So I'm kind of working in like slightly smaller than what my desk size is because I want to keep it there. Two inch monitor? <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm looking for monitors in a bit too, getting the new PC mid March. Heck yeah! Well, then definitely we'll make sure that it's in the tech and it's, um, it's available for you as well to take notes on. Yes. Welcome to the lamp measuring stream. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> I just, it's whenever I think of the category just chatting, I'm like, that's so weird. Like, what are you just chatting about? But the amount of times that we just kind of go off on tangents and end up in different things, I'm like, I get it. I understand the category. I understand it now. Also need a monitor lizard. Absolutely, we do. Valstin's monitor is 62 centimeters. 62 centimeters by 36. Ooh, it's a little wider. That's nice. Fabulous. <laughs> That's a really nice size monitor. Is it curved or do you have a, a flat a flat one? I've seen the curved ones and I don't know if it would like hurt my eyes or not after a little while. I feel like it would, but at the same time I see them and I'm like, dang, that looks cool as heck. Two... Two inch by five inch and twenty seven inch in mo and monitors. Twenty seven inch. Okay. Two two inch five inch? No, wait. <laughs> okay, we now know we now know twenty seven inches is sixty nine centimeters. We're doing math on this channel. No curve. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do curve or not. They look really cool. I don't know how 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 useful it would be. 
to be giant, giant pixels. <laughs> of course. The two inch ones are built into my DSLR and the five inches an external monitor I have for my cameras. Very nice, very cool. God, my mic is so clippy tonight. What is happening? Actually, I guess like if the game is causing it to clip, maybe I could just do this. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's me now. This is just, it's just me now. <laughs> kind of feel weird having my, my face this big, but I guess it's the same thing for like the regular stream. Actually, I'll just go like this, put it on the, put it on the music stream thing, except take down the alert bar. Wait, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, I like the curved ones. I think they're really cool. Aren't the curved ones horrible if you have to do design work, no straight lines at all? That would be a problem. Doing design work would be atrocious, I feel like. I don't think I have to do any straight lines with music development though. That should be okay. I'd like to try them out. I need to go to Media Market and just like try out some, try out some, some uh, monitors. That's what I did the other day. I went to Media Market and I just went to the keyboard section and I was just tapping on all their keyboards, trying to find what I liked. Um, 2.54 centimeters inches per centimeter. That's atrocious. Why aren't the numbers even? Is that your fighting coat? Yeah, I got my leather coat on today. Uh, I just thought like I'm always on stream in a sweater because I wear my sweaters in the house, but I'm like, frick, I'll just wear a jacket and look awesome. Yeah, my mom got this at a thrift store a couple years ago and she gave it to me, so yeah. Average Facebook dad profile with the leather jacket <laughs> or the monitor. <laughs> Don't look at the requests. Don't look at the requests. I gotta lurk now. Hungry as anything to anything today. Sounds good, Valstein. Thank you so much again for the raid. And uh, I'm probably gonna follow suit pretty soon here and have some dinner myself. Imagine your music sheets with only curved lines. Atrocious. Atrocious. I'm trying to imagine that. That'd be really bad. I'm already so bad at um at formatting my scores and stuff. Dig it. Thank you. Only watched the blood off yesterday from dead. Yeah, <laughs> get professional stain remover for my my sleeves. A sixty percent keyboard, good. Oh yeah, okay. I've been over the past two days. I've been learning so much about keyboards, like a lot. <laughs> I have gone down the rabbit hole of mechanical keyboards and the different sizes and things. I forget which one the size one that I got though. It's just a little bigger than my MacBook actually. It was like. It's like this big, very small. But then again, I don't, I didn't want something that was going to get in the way of the mini labs. So I want a leather coat. Go to a thrift store. There's so many good leather coats at thrift stores. That's where, that's where you find them. <laughs> but for a decent price, that is. What's the other type of mecha the mechanical keyboard? The um, uh, membrane keyboard. Is that not what it's called? Um, I was looking into the like hot swap mechanical i've never been into like mechanical keyboard hot swap stuff but i just love the look of them and i love the sound of them and for those of you who know i can taste sound so i want them to sound good because <laughs> i'd have to taste that every day i cannot do tiny keyboards i'm too used to location yeah you always have to get used to the um you have to get used to the layout it took me forever to get used to the mac layout which my mac has a German keyboard layout, so it took a little longer. I had a question. Can I ask other streamers to cover the fight song using the lead sheet? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, as long as I get the credit, because I wrote it with my own two hands, uh, send it along. Maybe more people will get to hear hear it and uh, come into the channel or something. That'd be awesome. Electrical. Hypothetical keyboards. What? <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> I'll have what Charlie's having. Uh, I do have the keyboard without the numerical part, though. I never use a keypad. I have not used a keypad since I was a bank teller at Scotiabank, okay? <laughs> it's a very long time. Next lamp, you'll get a PC case with RG RGB and everything and become a pro, ga pro gamer. <laughs> I just don't have the time. Uh, it's funny because like, I, I did think about getting a PC, but... I do everything on the MacBook and 
I, yeah, I just do like 99.9% of stuff on the MacBook and I love it for music production. It was really the, the thing to do. So I'm very satisfied with, with the Mac. Mechanical keyboards use physical switches. Regular keyboards compress pieces of copper infused plastic. Whoa, Atomic coming in with the, with the education. I didn't know that. The physical switches are very cool to me. I have a 98% keyboard. Does that mean that you have the numpad? Bank tellers need, yeah, bank, yeah, you need you need them <laughs> if you're a bank teller. <laughs> Just, I don't know, I don't know. I thought you were like <laughs> getting crazy. <laughs> you're a bank teller, yeah. I've used Scotia Bank before. Honestly, it's it was a pretty good bank. I had to open so when you're a Scotia Bank employee, at least when I was, you had to open a checking account in Scotiabank and then that's how you get your pay. So I had a Scotiabank account for a little while and they were really good. I don't actually know why I closed it out. I guess I closed it out because I didn't want to pay the fees once I stopped being an employee. Um, it was pretty, pretty good. The worst retail job I've ever worked though. Like the people were just awful. My coworkers were nice, but the people I had to deal with on a daily basis genuinely made me cry a couple times and it was just bad. <laughs> I think I had that job for three months. I want to buy a PC without RGB, and it's impossible. <laughs> I use too many different keyboards in different places and get used to non-standard configurations. That's very cool. That is very cool. Um, yeah, the R RGB, I don't know why I can't say that. Um, I get it because this, oh no, it's not gonna let me come over. I can't lift my, <laughs> I can't lift my mini lab, but it's flashing colors right now, but I can't sleep at night because I turn off the lights and then like all the RGB stuff is still going. And I'm like, I just want to go to bed. Uh, can I just go to bed? So I have to remember to plug, unplug everything. Kind of pain in the butt. They should have a numpad, but likely be missing the windows key. Oh, I'm never sure like how you decide what to cut from a keyboard. Um, I'm hungry for mac and cheese. Oh my God, I want to make mac and cheese now. Gaming, how could you? What if I can make mac and cheese tonight? Industry secrets. <laughs> my friend and I always had this, she worked at a different bank. I don't remember what bank she worked at. We always, we always talking about the fact like we'd, we'd, we'd steal from each other's banks or something. I shouldn't say that on, on a public platform. I've never robbed a bank. I've, n I've never done anything illegal. <laughs> I was a very good employee, I promise. Uh, they, yeah, I've never burned any bridges on a job. They always wanted to have me back. I was just, just had to cry on company time. Credit unions for the win. I've never been in a credit union. I don't know. I'm American, so I only ever use the ATMs to withdraw Canadian cash from my American bank card. Oh, very good. For, yeah, we got goofy money. And it does smell like maple syrup, by the way. It is true. It is true. The bills do smell like maple syrup. Just really artificial smelling maple syrup. Yeah, I'm casually looking at a new MacBook. Yay. Don't you already have a MacBook? Yeah, you have a 2019 Intel MacBook Pro, but I kind of want the M3. I'm not gonna lie, the M3's been treating me really well. Uh, yeah, I have, I have no complaints. Do the RGB colors influence your taste? Uh, how do you mean? <laughs> how do you mean? I just got different keycaps. Oh! I'm probably gonna end up getting like some fancy keycaps for mine at some point. Uh, I don't buy it. <laughs> Charlie never believes me. <laughs> Charlie, why don't you believe me? Lampy the bank robber. Loonies and Toonies. Okay, the Loonies and Toonies don't smell, but the, the bills do. But you need a lot of them. So the only reason I realized that they did smell was because I was working at a bank. <laughs> there was a lot of bills around. But if you just get 120, you're probably not gonna smell it really. I might have to make a mugshot for the goose. Ah! Actually, someone posted, uh, someone sent, um, it was like an AI photo of a goose with a street lamp, and it, I really liked it. It looked really good. I was gonna ask them, I forgot to ask them if I could share it in the uh, lamp appreciation post channel on the Discord. I kind of want to use it as a background for something. Buy extra keycaps in case of gamer rage. <laughs> I'd have to really suck at being a goose to get gamer rage. Ugh. Um, but Peg is, in regards to the taste, do you mean like, like my aesthetic? Does it influence my aesthetic? Not really, but I do like it. I've never had RGB flashing stuff before and I do appreciate it. I wish you guys could see it, but the cord is really, really short. Yeah. 
Come here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna break stuff, and then I'm gonna need keycaps. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what I see at night, <laughs> and it's lovely until the lights go off, and then I'm like, it's really bright. But I do like having it on sometimes when I'm just at my desk. It makes me feel very fancy. Um, the senses stuff. Oh, the synesthesia stuff. You mean? Breaking down the house. 24-7 disco party at last place. Yeah. Well, the keyboard I got today uh, also apparently has RGB. So it's going to be a real party over here once that arrives. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, that's synesthesia. That's what you're thinking of. Um, I don't remember the taste name of like that particular type of synesthesia. <laughs> I don't know. Not the kneecaps, no. No, yeah, I got all kinds of got all kinds of lights. And then the one that's attached to the mini lab is also hooked up with the uh, regular light, which is what's lighting me right now. So it's it's very bright. Actually, I had that one on with like fire setting yesterday. Very cozy, very cozy. Artura, I bought one long ago, but I used it five times, never again. Really? Ah, oh, I love I love the mini lab. I have the Mini Lab 3. I've seen a lot of people use the Mini Lab 2, and I just love, um, it's so portable. Like often I take it places with me, like I'll take it to a cafe and I'll work with stuff there. Or, um, yeah, mind you, I was using Ableton at the time with this, and this has a preset for Ableton, and I haven't gotten the preset for Logic Pro downloaded, so I haven't been able to use all the knobs and dials and sliders for, for Logic, and I wanna do that. So I haven't actually been using it that much. But this is what I use for stream when I want to mute stuff or put reverb on is uh, I have the mini lab for that. It's been very useful. A fire setting that does sound cozy. Yeah, it was. It has like a, I'll put it on for you guys. Why not? We're not doing anything else. I'm very fancy. Just hanging out. How much does Ableton cost? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, I think I got a student deal and it was, I think it was like 200, $200. I don't remember. Um, see if you can get a student d discount, if possible. It's arson time. Yeah, software not <laughs> not cheap for sure. Ah, no. Ah, oh, it's so bright. <laughs> get out of here. No. <laughs> Why is it every time? Dolls are so expensive. Um, I did get Logic Pro though on an education pack. Do the education package because. Um, they don't ask for verification. So you can get like an Ableton, or sorry, you can get the Logic Pro and a couple of other things in a bundle for like a fraction of the price. And they don't ask you for your, your university credentials. So just like do it, do it. I wanna be dollless. <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all wanna be dollless? There it is. It, it doesn't look like very, uh, very flickery, I guess. You can change the flicker speed on it though. E. The AI, oh, hi, whoa, 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 <laughs> freaky. I guess it has to be a little brighter because it flickers, but doesn't want to draw a goose as a bank robber. Why though, why though? If you get an interface like the Scarlet, they often come with a light version of Ableton. Oh yeah, that's true. I did, I think, did I already have Ableton when I got this focus right? I don't think I, I had it already, but I did realize that like, it comes with a lot of software, which is really nice. And the Mini Lab Artura also came with a lot of software, which was cool. So I do like those those free softwares. Casually encouraging criminal activity. Just, yeah, of course, casual. Not liable. <laughs> Not liable. I think the light version allows up to four tracks. Yeah, yeah. I remember that because I was actually on the light version for a while and then I needed to switch. I needed to buy it because I was scoring that animation. So I needed like pff, so many tracks <laughs> and I was topping out on four. But for like a for a tester, I think it's really, really good. Um, I just I prefer Logic for a couple of reasons, but also because the libraries, I prefer the libraries in Logic and they're more the genres that, of music that I write in, whereas Ableton is a lot of house and R&B stuff, which is not really up my up my alley. Dolly Parton. 
neighbors across the street be wondering what was going on i know i did think i'm like are they gonna think my house is burning down if i have like this giant flicker light on <laughs> i was a little concerned uh with a midi controller but i'm not sure check it check it there's a lot of really good deals and stuff I, the mini lab came with like rhythm trainers and and stuff like that a lot of a lot of random stuff but um it's cool always check what you get with with stuff i need a desk to put the midi controller on like an additional desk do it do it i thought about getting a shelf actually and putting it like putting the mini lab on top of the shelf and having my mouse under it but i feel like that's maybe too much Ableton Live Light installed, yeah, yeah. You you run out of you run out of room for the tracks for sure. <laughs> Joey, hey, yes, we're staying hydrated today. Um, didn't care for the voicings. I have native instruments complete. Oh yeah, natives is good. I've been using Spitfire Labs. I've also been using Spitfire actually for my solo piano track that I'm working on now. Um, it's I think it's called Felt Piano. I love it because it sounds you can adjust the sounds of hammers and pedals and stuff so you get all that wonderful clicking noise that comes in when you're actually playing an instrument and it's really lovely and mellow so it's really good for the stuff that i'm working on but i will definitely be getting like some more um spitfire libraries they're really really good i was really impressed hang everything from the ceiling <laughs> dude you you have not run into viennese ceilings I cannot dust up there. I cannot change lights up there. I cannot kill spiders up there. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, hello, a person with many numbers in their names. Bonjour. <laughs> Dope throwback leather coat. I had a bomber in the 80s. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's like very loose and very comfortable. And uh, it's like one of my favorite fall jackets to wear, to be honest. And it's been very lovely to have around the house. A bit of a change of pace instead of that blue sweater you guys always see me in. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, good times. Wait, we've been talking about gear for a while. We've really gone over to the just chatting side of things. Uh, you learning sign language? I don't know any sign language. I don't know. My mom would love to learn it, actually. That's something she would love to do. I wish she'd learn German because that'd be more fun for me <laughs> when she comes over. But yeah. I guess I should grab dinner. I guess I should actually get around to doing that. And I think I kind of want to make mac and cheese. Gaming Jew has, has got me in the mac and cheese mood. Um, I had a button on mine from 1988. Anarchist picnic in Chicago. <laughs> That's awesome. This stream is procrastination heaven. I should go make dinner. <laughs> Yeah, Giant is in the same same uh, same boat as I'm in. Charlie, long corgi. Long corgi for you. GNU, hey! It's amazing we've digitized everything to the fact we're artificially reproducing analog effects. I know! And honestly, like, when I was doing early, like, my early composing stuff, I was like, I, I just want to stick with paper and pen and a piano, and that's all I want. But now I'm like, do I want to pay for a room? for like a, a studio room for the day do i want to practice all week to get it like sounding perfect do i want to rent microphones or do i want to install this package <laughs> very useful for me being able to get out music and a decent price and and in a decent length of time uh, which is what i really just want to do is is get more music out just i know so many such talented such talented musicians and they have they have files and files and files of finished songs or mostly finished songs and they're beautiful and they are just they just never release them and and they're like oh no it has to be perfect or i want this and i want that i'm like just get them out just get them out man uh the only sign i know is for brown brown beer <laughs> useful very useful art analog effects artificial too i guess i guess yeah if you prefer one zeros or spectrum of signals yeah i mean everything gets put into a doll at the end of the day um I do still really respect the like live recording. If I could, I would. Like I'd love to get into the pocket of a studio where I could just be like, hey, I need a room, can you book me for the day? And then feel comfortable going there and doing a whole bunch of recording. That would be like the dream. Uh, but I'm not totally there yet. So I am gonna be uh, renting a, a studio or two when 
I'm doing like a, I'm doing like a music video project, uh, so I'm gonna need a studio room for that. But that's gonna take a little bit more practice, <laughs> so that I can make sure that I go in on the day that I've rented and I can just nail every every song. You know, if you like, if you don't take it, if you don't get the take in the first like one to one to three takes, then you're not really gonna get it. So it takes a lot of rehearsing time that, to know that you can go in and like get your money's worth and just go in and, and record everything. Um, <laughs> yay, jar, jar. Is the vision in your head fully realized for for like my own pieces and stuff? Mm, depends on the track. <laughs> depends on the track. The piano song, it's just a piano solo piece. So I know what I want it to sound like. I look a little lo-fi, a little vintage, you know, very cozy. Um, the chops took a little more work to figure out what I wanted that song to sound like. Um, actually, <laughs> I have a very different version of it from an ensemble that's working on it right now, but uh, it took a little longer. Sometimes if there's more arrangement stuff, I'm not quite sure what I want, but it's important to know what you want as an artist. So that's something that I'm still kind of learning to do. Brambo, thank you so much for the sub and welcome on in. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Theon, my first name. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. We are just hanging out. <laughs> We're just chatting. Uh, that's where the studio time starts to evaporate when you don't have the vision locked in. Yeah, yeah, you need to like show up and just play it the way you want it. And then especially with like the mixing and mastering and stuff like that. Um, yeah, at least for this this project, it's going to be acoustic stuff. So it's just it's just going to be me and the guitar and, or me and the piano and not a whole lot of other stuff on top of that. On, on top of that, it's going to be songs that I've already been doing on stream, so I've been practicing them a fair amount already. Um, but yeah, with a new piece, I wouldn't do it with a new piece. I would definitely like really work on it and, and figure out what I wanted. Otherwise, you're just wasting money, and this is not the place to waste money. Kaha monkey, hello. <laughs> no DJ? Oh, I wish. I wish I wish. Do you get a sound engineer with the studio time? I'm not booking a sound engineer for the studio just because it's it's gonna be really expensive. Um, and I would rather just bring my road and the interface and just kind of bring my streaming equipment into a studio space and do it there. Um, which means it's not gonna be great for the piano. I might have to do some adjustments with the piano, but it should be fine for the guitar. So we'll just have to see. Um, if I could do a sound engineer, that'd be really cool, but it would also really extend the timeline of the project. So, um, it's been a while. I'm always somewhere in the unable to watch stream location when you go live. No, <laughs> true, true. I get that. <gasps> no mac and cheese. It's so, sir, you better be having mac and cheese because if I don't eat mac and cheese, I'm going to be living vicariously through you. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I have enough cheese in my house. I do. I do. And I have oat flour, and I could make a roux. We could do this. This could happen. It's Sunday today, and if you don't know, in Austria, everything is closed on Sundays. So uh, on Sundays, you just work with what's in your pantry. And that's why sometimes I put stuff in my freezer, because there are days where I'm like, I have no food, and everything around me is closed. Since I could hold my head up high. Do you put peas in the mac and cheese? No. <laughs> no, Joey. Joey, no, don't do that. It's because, no, no. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with peas. The flavor profile is fine, but that to me is like a little kid food. I don't know. <laughs> Austria is like Kentucky closed on Sundays. Oh, really? Kentucky does it too? It's so not a thing in Canada. It really shocked me when I first came here. That was like the biggest culture shock thing when I got here. And then... Is something that I still struggle with. And then when my mom was here, she's like, what do you mean? We can't just go get groceries. I'm like, mm, today is God day. And then she's like, it's fine. We'll get it on Tuesday. I'm like, mm, Tuesday is also God day. <laughs> That's actually when it gets me the worst is when it's like a, a holiday and it's some kind of religious holiday and I don't know it. And then it's on like a Thursday or something. So I'm already running low on supplies. But I'm like, it's Thursday. I'll just run to the store after class. And no, no, no food for you. <laughs> No peas, just cheese. And a little bit of ketchup. I do put some ketchup on the mac and cheese. Unless it's like some fancy gourmet mac and cheese. I don't know. I don't really get gourmet with mac and cheese. I do get gourmet with grilled cheese though. Ooh, because it's gourmet grilled cheese. Yeah, 
I don't, I don't just, I don't, not just bread and cheese in my life. It's not enough for me anymore. I've evolved. I've become a connoisseur of the grilled cheese. <laughs> you get the cheese, you caramelize some onions. You get like a couple different types of cheese, some sharper cheese. Sometimes I put in uh, sun-dried tomatoes. A little bit of sun-dried tomatoes on there. Put that on top. Mm, so good. If I'm really feeling it, then I'll put a fried egg on there. Evolve it. Evolve the grilled cheese game. Unless I have tomato soup, and then it's just grilled cheese. <laughs> then it's just regular grilled cheese. Because the soup is enough. Now I want grilled cheese. Ah, oh, you guys. <laughs> it's more than red cheese, it's no longer grilled cheese, it's a melt. You're right, it's a melt. Yeah, that's a better way to say it. Fried egg is an absolute game changer. Yeah! Fried eggs change a lot of my stuff. I don't need a whole lot of meat. So I eat a lot of eggs and I put eggs in everything. I put fried eggs in my soup, on my chili, on my sandwiches. Sometimes I put them on like fried vegetables, stir fries, put an egg on there. Just put an egg on everything. <laughs> Your tax forms, put an egg on that. Eggs make everything better. My go-to meal when I first moved out when I was broke was mac and cheese, a can of peas, and a can of tuna mixed together. You get two meals in a day for a dollar twenty, a dollar twelve. That's pretty good, actually. Tuna. Do I want tuna with my mac and cheese? I have had tuna with. Well, when I think of tuna, I think of like a tuna melt, and and in that case, tuna and cheese are speaking well to each other. So I guess if you just add bread, then then that is that is fair. Also, if you're if you're doing broke meals, everything goes. Everything goes. It's fine. <laughs> I got so many so many broke meal recipes. I'm making food on <laughs> giant. <laughs> Proud of you, giant. You're doing what I cannot. In your coffee, in your tea, let go my ego. <laughs> I I saw on Instagram there is um, egg coffee, a Swedish egg coffee. Have you guys heard about this? Uh, Multi, hello! Thank you, thank you kindly. <laughs> Welcome on in. Have you tried sardines? Ah, oh, I used to crave sardines in the in the winter. I just eat a can of sardines. I don't know what vitamin I was dis deficient in, but in high school, I would just live off of like canned pineapple and sardines. I needed it. <laughs> I've not heard of this. Okay, yeah. So the the Swedish coffee. UK coffee grounds raw egg crush it in there with the shell just like smash it all in there you get your water boiling then you put all of it in and then you basically the egg cooks and it binds all of the coffee grounds and it also I guess binds some of the bitterness that you normally get in coffee so you get like a nice smooth coffee and you can just take it from the pot and pour it into a cup and you don't get any coffee grounds. So I guess it was a way for people to filter their coffee when they didn't have a coffee filter. So I learned a thing. Apparently it didn't taste very good. I am a little curious. I would like to try it one day. Put your broke meals in Discord. Yeah, oh yeah, good idea. Very good idea. My peanut noodles are normally my like broke, broke go-to meal. Get the peanut noodles. <sighs> Actually scratch the mac and cheese. I'm probably gonna do peanut noodles because then I'll just put cheese on the peanut noodles. And then I get the best, the best of both worlds. It sounds like eggnog. <laughs> Worst eggnog ever. Ugh. Yeah, raw egg. My mom used to eat things a cat would pass on. Sardines with mustard. Bra Braunschweiger? What is that? Potted meat like Spam? I grew up with negative sardine feelings. I never like sardines. And, and, and I don't like them if I'm not in this like craving sardines season. <laughs> In my day-to-day -day life, I don't want the sardines. It's just when I crave whatever's in the sardines. Uh, it's like when children eat dirt, it's because of an iron deficiency. It's like that. <laughs> it's like I'm craving something and I need this particular food to get that. See so something more expensive than a coffee filter place the coffee fil Yeah, well, eggs didn't always used to be so expensive, Multi. That's the thing. <laughs> Nowadays, it's like eggs are a commodity. Do you remember back in the day when eggs actually costed like, like nothing? They cost nothing. Liverwurst. Ugh, ugh, sardines and liverwurst. I mean, probably not together, but still. Mm. Was it peanut noodle? Oh, peanut noodles are like, um, uh, you get some kind of like, I, I don't know. I don't know what 
the traditional method is because I've kind of like bastardized it pretty badly. But I use like a rice noodle or an udon noodle or a soba noodle. And you get, um, I do like uh, peanut butter, soy sauce, a little bit of water, a little bit of sriracha, maybe lao gang ma if you have it. Lao gang ma is so good. You mix that all together as your sauce. And then you put in like um, vegetables and maybe chicken if you have it. And it's like a, it's like a noodle stir fry, but with peanut sauce. And I call it peanut noodles. And it's fantastic. So good. If you have a little bit of sesame oil, put that in there too. I'm not really big on Austrian food, so I eat a lot of uh, I eat a lot of Asian cuisine and stuff. Because I really just like the I like the flavor profile. People have their own chickens. Yeah, and chickens give like an insane amount of eggs. If you have four chickens, you're set. <laughs> There's no way you can get through that many eggs. So you're just like giving them to people and stuff. In my hometown, you used to be able to go like around, drive around neighborhoods and buy eggs for like nothing. Put peas in your mac and cheese <laughs> if you need iron. If, if, I was thinking, well, I don't normally think I have like an iron deficiency. My mom is convinced that I do, but you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever mom. <laughs> um, but you can get like the lucky iron fish, which is like a fish made of iron. And you just toss it into your soups and stuff, and it leaches iron into your food in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, and you get iron that way. Also, we used to eat a lot of um, molasses. Molasses is really, really high in iron. So I used to just have like a little tablespoon of molasses every now and then. I love molasses. I'd eat that raw. It's, it's so good. Uh, that could be lao gong what? Oh, lao gong ma? Um, uh... Can I like send a picture of Lao Gong Ma to the chat? <laughs> I don't know. Can I send my own links? Is that allowed? I actually have to get more of it. So uh, I'll definitely send the You Suck at Cooking Mac and Cheese video because that's my that's my holy grail for mac and cheese. <laughs> German food is meh. It's just like fried meat, potato salad, noodles. It's kind of I appreciate it. I appreciate where they're coming from, but I can't really live off of that. It's not for me. Uh, Lao Gang Ma is crispy chili oil. That's what it is. La I think I was also saying it really wrong. Lao Gan Ma. Lao Gan Ma. I'm from the US. I don't know. <laughs> Lao Gang Ma. You'll find it at Asian markets and stuff. It's really popular. Uh, Googling lucky iron fish. It's called the lucky iron fish. If you're iron deficient, buy yourself a lucky iron fish. And then I think for every lucky iron fish you buy, they send one to like a third world country that where they need iron. There's like a couple of places in the world that I don't remember which ones because it's been a long time since I looked into this stuff that are very iron deficient. So they make sure that communities can get it and then you get your own. Old good mother. <laughs> That's super spicy. No, no, I don't find it that spicy. The la gang ma, at least the kind that I have, maybe. Maybe it's, there's different kinds and stuff. Um, I got Sambal Oleg the other day and that stuff's spicy. That stuff will knock your shoes off. It's legit a big metal fish for $20 on Amazon. Yeah, yeah, it's a fish. Lucky iron fish. It's chili, so yeah, it's, it's chili oil. It's chili oil with chilies in it, basically. But it's so good as a topper and I love putting it in my sauces and stuff. It's really nice. Why does spell check keep changing it to fir? Because it wants you to grow fir trees. Old good mother is the literal meaning to the name of Lao Gan Ma. Oh, I forgot we had someone who actually... <laughs> right. Okay, cool. I'm going to call it old good mother from... Old godmother from now on. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, you guys know the old the old godmother. <laughs> okay. I'm going to I'm going to put I'm going to put Lao Gan Ma on the Discord and I'm going to put the lucky iron fish in the discord as well. Um, maybe if I buy one, my mom will stop thinking I'm iron deficient. <laughs> I just buy the King Oscar canned fish. They have a variety of flavors of different ones. Canned fish. I don't know how I feel about canned. I, I do eat a bit of canned fish. I used to eat a lot of canned fish and now I don't know how I, how I feel about it. I guess it is pretty good when you put it with other stuff. I honestly used to eat it out of the can. Maybe I just shouldn't eat it out of the can. <laughs> Maybe I should like make a salad with it or something. 
just put <laughs> gaming geo i love your cat with the little cowboy hat is so cute here's look at my <laughs> uh, my what is this wait, wait my favorite Thai place had one to five heat scale the waitress refused to sell me anything over two what if they have a one to five heat scale they should offer it <laughs> It's just cast iron. It seems overpriced. Yeah, I mean, you can get you can just get your iron by using cast iron dishes. It's basically the same concept. It's like you're using cast iron pots and pans, and the iron leaks in that way. Um, but if you don't have cast iron, then use that. The good thing is, is I think the iron fish lasts for like ever, like forever. I think every now and then you have to like oil it or something. <laughs> but it's like 20, 20 bucks for life, so that's not too bad. Oh, good God. <laughs> I used to live on canned tomato fish as a teen. Ah, oh, that was also in my in my craving fish high school era. I understand entirely. I used to eat the bones and all. I don't know how much you're going to stay, but I need to dip. I've exhausted my remaining energy. Zepsy, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me and um, making sure everyone stays in line. Um, but do look after yourself. I won't be on much longer. I can't believe I've been talking this much already, to be honest. <laughs> It would be good. Wow, glitchy mic. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Goodbye. Look after yourself. No, you you would too. <laughs> Maybe she's looking out for you. Maybe she's looking out for your well-being. You know what? <laughs> I'm on her side now. Until you prove that you can eat a three. Maybe you should stick with the two for now. Can't really cost more than a few bucks. Yeah. Yeah, probably. If, yeah, you could probably find it cheaper, to be honest. I just always know it as the brand Lucky Iron Fish. And I also like saying the words Lucky Iron Fish. Maybe I should make my new song title Lucky Iron Fish. I'm gonna write that down. Whoa. Lucky Iron Fish. Lucky Iron Fish. That's what I'm calling my next piano track. <laughs> Robo Lamp. Robo Lamp. Yeah, I do have to fix that this week. Uh, fix the fix the mic or the buffer size of the mic Suck on some industrial size cast iron pipes, but then I always get kicked out of the Walmart Charlie <laughs> I try it and they ask me to leave so <laughs> Many generations I don't know iron pipes don't last that long do they? A whole EP of food themes. Yeah, well my my piano track right now is called raspberry dreamer and I thought about doing like a food theme. I actually have like a couple of a couple of names that I wrote down on my on my phone app. What do I have? I have fizzy lifting from the fizzy lifting drink from Willy Wonka. I thought that'd be cute. Another thing I was gonna call it was blue cream sundae. I thought that was very nice. Uh, savory love, pop rocks galaxy, star chips, or candy nails. I think all those are great. <laughs> And by great, I mean absolutely ridiculous. So I'm probably gonna do them. Purchase them first. <laughs> I'm not gonna purchase industrial iron pipes. I'm just gonna use the ones that are in the store. <laughs> I used to like look up at Costco's and just be mesmerized by the ceilings, with all the pipes, all the architecture of the Costco. That's <laughs> very, was a very special child. My, I was very. I'm a very interesting child, I think. I'm less interesting now. <laughs> make this happen? You like the names? Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the names. Yeah, Raspberry Dreamer is coming out first, actually. I'm in, I'm in the mixing and mastering process on that one. I love the ceiling pipes in shops. Good, I'm not alone. <laughs> I'm not alone. They sound like Wii Instruments. They do, actually. They do. <laughs> Hold on, now that I'm thinking about that. Maybe I should like sell the names to weed stores. Yeah, fizzy lifting, are you kidding me? Sweet red dial, of course. Yeah, oh, thanks, Monty. <laughs> oh, and Atomic. Oh, thank you kindly. <laughs> uh, I was uh, I, I can't wait to get one of my one of my Canadian friends on here. That I was talking to my friend actually from from Canada and I've known her like over 10 years now. I'm like, God, I would love to have her on stream. It'd be absolute chaos. New business idea? Yes, selling, <laughs> marketing and selling goofy names to weed shops. It's the one way to make a living. 
Fizzy Lifting is either a great band or a drag name. Well, I'm hoping that uh, that Ronald Dahl won't sue. Well, he's dead, right? But I, I'm hoping he won't sue me for Fizzy Lifting. But I could definitely see getting in trouble. Also, I was trying to avoid brand names because, you know, Denny's. <laughs> I've already got that going for me. I had like a different name that had a brand name in it. And I was like, oh, I'm just tempting the fates if I do that at this point now. <laughs> I'm really kicking, kicking the hornet's nest. So... I used to have like there was like one of these virtual Neopet games and you could name the animal like whatever you wanted and there's like a selling trading pet game and uh I got I realized that people would choose the pet because of the name so I got really into creating really weird names and it was a really good creative exercise and so I was like oh, I need to find my account on that obscure pet site and find all the weird names that I had Giant Pixels, you're going out, you're warming up your leftovers. Yay! I'm proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> Have a wonderful dinner and we'll see you around, Giant Pixels. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Twisted Minds could be a weed. That's awesome. Twisted Minds. Very cool. I think even in Austria, they have like a Mozart strand. I, I, I don't think weed is legal here, but they have like the CBD oil products and stuff. And some of them are labeled after Mozart. I'm like, that's cool. I like it. That's cool. Do you know how great being sued by a major corp would be for spreading your brand? Your brand? It's true. <laughs> it's true. Well, I thought about like all the fast food companies like Wendy's and I feel like Denny's would also be in that line where the marketing is very chill and they're very interactive with people. And I'm like, oh, I could see. And plus like the amount of people that said that they want to go to Denny's because they heard my song. I mean, it goes both ways. <laughs> I market them, they market me, everyone gets a marketing. <laughs> gotta spread the bread happy meals okay then i would definitely get sued by mcdonald's i would definitely get sued by mcdonald's but i like the idea of having like a, a what do you call it like a audio palette you call it like an audio palette cleanser or something audio appetizers because <laughs> all the tracks are going to be quite small they're going to be like one to two and a half minutes so i could call it like audio appetizers and just have like little snippets I like this. I like this brainstorming thing we got going on. More to does get. I agree, Atomic. I agree. Happy Meals would be a good week, weed straight. Yeah, well, definitely if you get the munchies, I think. <laughs> I never really got the munchies. I don't I don't I don't smoke or anything anymore, but when I was when I was younger, I was into the, all the crazy stuff and um I would just I hated it. I hated eating food when I was high. <laughs> Because I would have like really serious time distension, so I would eat a piece of chocolate, and in my mind, like four hours would have passed, and I'd still be eating one piece of chocolate. <laughs> it was the worst. It sucked. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna out out out, and then <laughs> got some good good uh good EP names. I just want to like release a whole bunch of little tracks and just see if I can get them on different playlists and stuff and, and, and get them out there. It's also a really good creative process for me to just like work on a piece for about a couple weeks or a month and just go from composing to recording to mixing and mastering, producing it and just like get used to doing that a lot. Uh, never ate White Castle at 4am with a car full of pre probates. I've, there's no White Castle in Canada. I've heard of it. I've seen videos of White Castle, and it seems absolutely atrocious, but I've never been able to experience it. I enjoy the smell when people smoke it. Oh, weird. I don't think it smells good, but it does give me a Pavlovian response of like, yeah, I had a good time a lot of the times I did that, but, you know, that is weird. It reminds me of skunks, though. It's sometimes you're like, is there a weed around, or is there just like, did someone hit a skunk? Because that's what used to happen in our neighborhood. <laughs> Just roadkill, really. It takes days to get the smell and all the tiny onions out of your car. Oh, what the onions? What the? Oh yeah, the White Castles has like deep fried onions, right? Or like onion rings. Gross. Hello, Triple X. Welcome on in. <laughs> yeah, grody. But the onions are making me think about food again. <laughs> How long have I said I've been wanting to uh, to get dinner? I I should probably head out. <laughs> Uh, but I will be around Wednesday stream, got the Wednesday music stream, Friday music stream, and I think we're going to do Lethal Company on Sunday, if I can. 
Maybe because I have some good memories hanging out with people who smoked it. See, that's why I think I like it too. It's because it just reminds me of like hanging out with my friends and having a good time, so. And gaming Geo. <laughs> gaming Geo, but I'll, I'll stay active in the Discord. We can continue this in the Discord. Send me your goofy names for my, for my album. <laughs> Always need more goofy names in my life. Um, sh should we raid? I feel bad if we don't raid. Hold on, where should we go? At least like we'll go somewhere where there's some chill music if you guys want to hear some tunes and stuff. You ordered food! Did you order mac and cheese? Did you make the mac and cheese? Oh, we got a drummer. Who's live right now? Oh, Liz, Liz KT is live and they're lovely. Oh, Grizzly Bear on air! I rem uh, when did we last see him? I don't remember. In the Discord or the Denny's. If you got your gloves on, if you got your fighting gloves on. <gasps> Dag is streaming! Let's go see Dag! I forgot he's in a gig! Oh my god, we're gonna go see Dag. We're doing it. We get to raid Dag, it's so fun. What the heck? Oh, that's so cool. This channel's intended for mature audiences. Everyone here is mature, right? Okay, cool. <laughs> Anyone who's a child, say I and then leave. Burger King Texas Whooper because they're cheaper. Oh, get a Whooper. That'd be so good. Yeah, oh yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Dagothar is currently in Germany um, streaming. I don't know who this is. I can't quite see her face. It looks like Zoe, Zoe Ren, but it could be wrong. Um, but she's doing a wonderful gig, so let's go listen to her while I'm making dinner. Now how the turntables. But I don't think I qualify as mature. Good enough, good enough, Atomic. You know what, I'm also old enough, I'll just like give you some of my numbers and then we'll just like even out. That's, that's how it goes. Does not being grown up count? I, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless you have like a weird uncle that swears around you all the time and then you, and then you're used to it. I don't want to scar anybody. I'm a 23-year-old toddler. Oh, you're a child, Charlie. You're all young and still. I'm younger in my mind, but older. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth growing up. There's nothing cool here. All you got to do is pay taxes. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and just chatting a whole bunch. I had so much fun. <laughs> being a goose and being a lamp. Um, and I'll see you guys in, in Dagstream. Right. Bye.